Story time about how I cheated on my husband, lied about getting pregnant, and left with all his money. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one, you guys. A little background, my husband and I met two years ago. And lucky for me, he's a wealthy plastic surgeon. So a little backstory. I actually met him because I wanted to get a nose job. I made an appointment in his office and I went. We actually hit it off right away, even though he's older than me and, you know, wasn't the best looking. After the appointment, I decided I would get the nose job. A few days later, I get a phone call. Guess who it is? It's the wealthy plastic surgeon who I just saw. He asked me out on a date and I said yes, of course. By the way, at the time I was a sugar baby, so I had a few sugar daddies. I figured he would just become another sugar daddy. He took me out to the best restaurant in town and you better believe I ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. After my surgery, he would bring me food and was just really nice. Then he asked me to be his girlfriend and I decided to give him a chance. I even broke up with two sugar daddies to make space for him. That's when I asked my boyfriend for an allowance. He said of course. There's so much more to the story, part two is up. Part two about how I cheated on my husband, lied about being pregnant, oh yeah, and stole all of his money. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. This was sent to me on Instagram. So like I said in part one, I had asked him for an allowance. Of course he said yes and offered me $3,000 a month. I accepted even though it was on the low end. By the way, I still had one sugar daddy at this time. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I was pretty obsessed with the Kardashians. My goal in life is to look like Kim K. So now that I had a plastic surgeon boyfriend, I decided to ask him what other surgeries he thinks I could do. I already had my nose job. Now I definitely wanted to do some other stuff on my body. But when I told him, he got really upset. He said I didn't need to change anything about me and that I needed to stop looking for attention from other men. That's when I told him that would be totally impossible and that I definitely was going to keep my other sugar daddy. He totally flips out because he didn't know I had a sugar daddy. Then he asked me if I was actually in love with him. I told him that love would grow eventually but that I really did like him. Then he started playing hard to get like he wanted me to apologize and beg him. But I was not the type. So we ended up not speaking for a few weeks. Eventually he comes over to my apartment and asks me what surgeries I want to get done. And back to the surgery table I went. Part 3 is up. Part three about how I cheated on my husband, lied about being pregnant, oh yeah, and stole all of his money. Well, almost all of it. Disclaimer, this is not my story time, it was sent to me on Instagram. But my plastic surgeon boyfriend decides to do more plastic surgery on me. But this time, it was free. We decided to get my bum bum done. Again, during the healing process, he was a total angel and brought me food and took care of me. But yeah, he was also paying for all of my bills and my rent at this time, even though I still had a sugar daddy. And he knew it. A few months passed and he asked me to go to Italy with him. Of course I said yes. We stayed at a beautiful place in Tuscany and then he asked me to marry him. He had planned out this whole romantic dinner and of course I had to say yes. But on one condition that I let go of my last sugar daddy. So I told him I would, although I actually did not. So we started planning my dream wedding. We finally got married and I moved into his mansion. Then he told me that I had to get pregnant right away. His excuse is that he's in his 50s and he really wants to have kids. I said I wanted to have a baby too, but I kept taking the pill. I mean, I am just not ready to have kids or to ruin my beautiful body. This is when my other sugar daddy started getting really annoyed because I never spent time with him. It was really hard being torn between two men. Part 4 is up. Part 4 about how I cheated on my husband, lied about being pregnant, and stole all of his money. Disclaimer, this is not my story time, it was sent to me on Instagram. So like I said, my sugar daddy was starting to get really annoyed at me because I never spent enough time with him. That's when I broke it to him that I was actually married. He totally flipped out, called me a user, cut me off, and blocked me from everything. So that meant I was not getting money from this sugar daddy at all. It meant I was totally dependent on my husband. Remember I said my husband wanted me to get pregnant? Well, I kept taking the pill because I didn't want to get pregnant. But my husband would ask me every single day how that was going. And I was like, it's going. I even started lying, saying that I was gonna go to the baby doctor just to get myself checked and I really wouldn't. Instead, I would go have lunch and shop. Around this time, an old sugar daddy of mine contacted me, who I still had a crush on. He was like super good looking. He offered me some money and asked me if I wanted to go on a few dates, so of course I said yes. I accepted because I really wanted to just separate myself financially from my husband. I didn't want to be dependent on him all the time. So when my husband was at work, I would go out on dates with this new sugar daddy. The sugar daddy wanted me to go on a trip with him and I had to say no. He got really upset and started asking questions. Of course, I didn't tell him that I was married, but he started getting really suspicious. He also started to feelings really quick like he always wanted to be with me he would text me all the time and that's when my husband finds a text message from the sugar daddy I basically denied everything and I told him that I no longer had any sugar daddies but my husband did not believe me that's when he calls my sugar daddy from my phone and tells him to leave me alone and the sugar daddy told him that only I could make that decision so I basically had to cut off the sugar daddy right in front of my husband my husband was like really angry at this time so I was on my best behavior for the next few weeks but after a few weeks he was still really angry so I realized I needed to start taking money out of the account that he gave me. So I started transferring money from his account to my account and then from my account to another account at a different bank. And guess what? My husband did not notice one bit. He had several other accounts and investments and all this other stuff, so he never really noticed if anything went missing from that one account. After a few months, I had $50,000 in that bank account. I knew it wasn't enough, so I had to start taking more money out. And then a few months after that, I was at $120,000. I knew this was enough to get me a little house somewhere and just like basically live by myself. That's when I devised a whole plan. I would leave the country and buy myself a house. I even started looking for a real estate agent in other countries. But then the poo hit the fan. My husband found my pills and asked me if I was actually trying to get pregnant or not. Once again, I started lying and I told him that of course I wanted to have a baby with him. 
Then he insisted we go to the doctor together. That's when he found out that I had not gone to the doctor once. He told me that if I didn't want kids, we would have to get a divorce. So I told him that I didn't want kids. That's when I told him I wanted a divorce and that I only wanted half of his stuff. He started laughing in my face and left. I knew I had to act quick because it was a matter of time before he found out I stole all that money. The very next day, I booked a flight and left. He started blowing up my phone, asking me where I was calling me. Then he started threatening me for taking all the money in the bank account and that he hired private investigators to find me. Now I'm considering going back to him, but I honestly don't know what to do. I got my a cute little house and even found a new sugar daddy but i know he's still looking for me what should i do you guys i think i really messed up you guys really story time of how my mom kicked me out at age 15 because she found out i was dating a mixed boy so basically my mom wasn't strict at all and she let me do almost anything that i wanted but when it came to dating it was a whole different story i mean she let me start dating at 12 years old but every single time i told her i had a boyfriend the first thing that she would say is he better be white and she'd always say if it ain't white it ain't right mind you my preference was mixed and dark-skinned boys so of course, I'm going to go after to what I'm attracted to. And at 14, I started dating this kid and I asked my mom if I could invite my boyfriend to my birthday. We weren't really doing anything big. It was kind of just like a family party with a couple friends. And she said yes. Mind you, she had never met him or seen a picture of him. So she was kind of excited to meet him. So my birthday comes around and he gets there. And as soon as he walked into the door, I gave him a big hug and my mom turned around and gave me the most evil look ever. She pulled me aside and her exact words were, is this a joke? And she literally said, I trusted you enough to not bring this kind of hood in our house. I'm running out of time like for this part two. Part two of how my mom kicked me out at age 15 because she found out I was dating a mixed boy. Continuing with the story, after the party, I had asked him to stay for like an hour or two later. And afterwards, my mom was just being completely rude the entire time towards him. And right in front of him, she screamed at me and said, I don't want this type of black trash in my house. Please get it out. Mind you, I hate disrespecting my mom and I never talk back to her. But I yelled back at her and said that was the most disrespectful thing she could have ever said. And while all this is happening, he looks like he's about to bust into tears. Like, I genuinely know this kid had a soft spot for me. So I apologize and I tell him I think it's best for him to leave. And afterwards, he FaceTimes me and he tells me that he will do anything to be able to keep me. And after he leaves, my mom tells me that I'm a big disgrace to the family and she doesn't want me living there no more. All over me bringing a mixed guy to the house. I'm now 19 and I'm still with him. And I really haven't talked to my mom since. But that day she kicked me out and I had to go stay with his family. She still wants nothing to do with me because I'm still with a mixed guy. Mom, if you're listening to this, you're a racist piece.